Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Today we are looking at this. This is the Crazy Tube Circuits High Power. This amazing sounding pedal, and I'm not using that word lightly, this is an absolutely fantastic sounding drive and amp pedal, is based on a color sound power boost and overdriver and a high watt, 150 watt amp. As Crazy Tube Circuits tend to do with their sort of double pedals, is they've got an amp section on one side and an overdrive section on the other side. Now, before we start getting into the sounds, let me just give you a brief history, first of all, of the overdrive section of this. As I said, this is based on the Color Sound Power Boost and the Overdriver. The Power Boost was designed by a guy called Gary Hurst in the late 60s, and it was 18 volts. And it was sold by Macari's Musical Exchange in London in the UK. When it was time to ship over to the American distributors, the American distributors didn't feel that the orange color would appeal to the American market. So they changed it to a gray black color, dropped it down to nine volts as opposed to the 18 volts and put a master volume on the side. This was one of the very first overdrive pedals that you could get and it still sounds awesome today. Let's start with this section first, going into my amp. I'm using my Dr. ZZ rec for this and the clean sound sounds like this. So that's the power boost section, and it is quite subtle, but let's switch over to the overdriver. Now you should hear, because of the voltage difference, that it's got slightly less headroom, and that becomes really apparent once we start driving it. And that is absolutely awesome. So what it does, it sort of takes it out of that drive territory and puts it into a fuzz. And that's exactly how the old pedal worked. As you sort of pushed it, just past that sort of four o'clock line, it did drive. And we've got all the basic controls from the original pedals. And we've also got the master, which was included on the overdriver. So you can push that master into the amp section. Now the other side of the pedal is based on high watt amplifiers and you've got the 50 watt version and the 100 watt version. They've done a great job of emulating the different sort of headroom options that you've got here with the 50 and the 100 it really sounds great this pedal and amplifier combination was made famous by dave gilmore and at no point during this video am i going to play any pink floyd especially things like this oh. and this Let's switch off the drive pedal and have a listen to the amp side of the pedal. Again, let me give him a bass tone. As you can hear, it's adding a ton of character to my amp. Now you don't have to use it in so much of a sort of drive mode. We've got this switch here, which takes it into the bright setting, the normal setting, and both together. So the normal setting sounds like this. Bright settings like this. Now, even with the Telecaster, which traditionally is a bright sounding guitar, I think that sounds great. and just pushes the treble into ramp, which I think really adds a lot of character. And then you can combine the channels, like you could on the amp, by switching to the middle.
Now on the other switch, we've got a 50 watt version and a 100 watt version. So the 50 watt, you're gonna get less headroom. It is a very subtle thing. And when you switch it up to the 100 watt version, you get slightly more headroom. It is very subtle. So what can you do with this side of the pedal? Well, you can get all of those sort of classic high watt sounds out of it. One of the things that I really love about this is the master volume, because as you start to push up the master, it starts to drive in a really nice way, just like the original amp did. And as you crank up the master, you get this really lovely sort of tube amp compression that you don't get from a lot of pedals. It sounds really good. So we can use it like that, and then we can combine it with the drive pedal in the front. Now you can hear the amount of drive that's coming from that and have a listen to how quiet that pedal is. It is insanely quiet. Because Crazy Tube Circuits is a forward thinking company, they've also included, let me move my camera back a little bit, a send and return jacks on it. So what you can do with this, you can either put a pedal in the send and return jack and actually use it in between the two sections. Or if you've got a switch or something like the Boss ES5, ES8 or a gig rig, you can have both pedals on and then you can switch out the pedals independently and also change the order of the pedals. But let's plug in a fuzz pedal into the circuit. Now, as I said earlier, this fuzz pedal now is right in between these two circuits. So we're after the power booster and overdriver and before the high watt amp. So this comes out today, it is awesome. Go and check out other people's reviews, see what they think of it. And I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time, cheers.